you know, everybody, everybody who's heard my story knows the deal. The reason why I became a professional wrestler was largely due to my hero and inspiration, Zach Gowan. You know, when I was 16 years old, still trying to figure out who I was, go to school, get picked on, come home, have to deal with my parents arguing. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know who I was gonna become. When Zach Gowan appeared on WWE television for the first time, I was amazed. And every single Thursday after that, I made sure I was glued to the TV, awaiting my newfound inspiration, awaiting my hero, the guy that despite a disability could overcome all odds. It wasn't until I saw Zach for that first time that it started to knock around in my head that maybe I could, maybe I could live my dream as a wrestler too. And when I showed up to wrestling school at 18, kind of smallest guy there, obviously I had a disability, but I always kept Zach in mind. I knew if he could do it, I could do it too. He was the thing that drove me, made me better. And when I started to gain success as a wrestler, Zach drove me then too. It was an empowering thing to know that there were so many kids out there that could look up to me the same, the same way that I looked at Zach. And then as everything progressed and I started being on the same shows as Zach, I was in all of them. So crazy to think that the guy that I looked up to was becoming my friend. He knew my name. And then last, last week, you turned your back on me, Zach. After 10 years of using you as the driving force behind everything I do, you turned your back on me. You know, it's pretty cliche, but people always say you never want to meet your hero. because he'll never, ever turn out the way you pictured him to be. Why, Zach? Why'd you do this to me, man? I'm done. I'm done. Zach Gowan, I gotta tell you something. You know, when, when I came to you, I was telling you all along, Gregory Iron was stealing your thunder. You are the true inspirational story in all of professional wrestling. Gregory Iron was trying to steal opportunities from you. He was trying to steal your reputation. But Zach, I've known you for a long time. I told you, Greg Iron is nothing but a copycat, a ripoff, someone who's trying to steal what you've already established. But you and I, we both come from the same town. We're cut from the same cloth. And I want you to look in that camera and you tell them everything that's been on your mind and do it for the sons of Michigan. Right there, brother. Detroit is right there. This represents Michigan and Detroit represents greatness. But that's not why I'm great. You see, when I first met Gregory Iron, I loved the kid. I thought he was amazing. I thought he was talented. And, and, I didn't even know about his whole story. When I heard that he was inspired to follow his dream to become a professional wrestler because he sat in front of the television when he was 16 years old and saw me perform, that filled my heart with joy. That's why I'm here, Greg. That's the reason I exist. I'm here to help people like you. But somewhere along the line, it got twisted. You see, Greg thought he was me. No, 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 no. Greg thought he was better than me. The thing is, Greg, there's only one person in this whole world who can do what I do, 
and you're looking right at him. You know, it was supposed to be about us. Yep. I come to Prime Wrestling and it's gonna be the handicapped handguns and we're gonna go coast to coast, inspire millions of kids along the way in the most feel good story of the year. But that turns into the Gregory Iron Show. It's not so much handicapped handguns as it is the Gregory Iron Show. That's right. That was apparent in our first match when he got knocked out taking the first move and his lifeless body lay there for five minutes shaking and trembling and he was frothing at the mouth. I knew right then and there that this kid doesn't have what it takes. No, no wait. Mm -mm. Fast forward to today's match. I said, okay. I said, okay. Maybe we got off on the wrong foot. Maybe Greg Iron had a bad day. Maybe he knocked his head in a weird angle. It happens. I've been knocked yeah. out. Nate, you've been knocked it out. Happens. So today I said, Greg, sit in the corner. Be out there for moral support. I'll take care of it. That's right. I'll take your revenge out on Cursed. No worries. And what does Greg do? He turns that into the Gregory Iron Show. Again. Again. And that's when I knew. That's when I knew this little voice in my head starts spr sprouting off words, words of wisdom, words of knowledge. And that voice was Nate Matson's voice. You see, Nate Matson has been talking to me for the past, what, month or two? It's been a month or two. About what Gregory, what Gregory Iron, Iron really is. And that was none more apparent than today when I saw what he did. Nate, you were right all along. That's right. That's right. And today, I once was blind, but now I see, my friend. Today, I had to do what was right for me right. and what was right for the wrestling business. And that's take that little puke out and take him out for good. That's right. 